everyone so today is kind of a busy day here in the office it is Wednesday so we have some wholesale orders we have to get out today and what's really exciting is I'm going to set up a new display in the store it's gonna be our bath and body display I was initially going to paint it and all before I put it out there but I think I'm just gonna put it out there because I'm kind of busy and I won't get to the painting part for maybe a few weeks or so um, but maybe more towards fall I can kind of you know paint the display but for now I'm just gonna put it out there it was just like an old dresser I found in the dumpster so it's gonna go well I'm gonna clean it first and it wasn't in the dumpster it was next to the dumpster so we're gonna put it out and I got some things to put on the display so Target had some new things out so this was five dollars and then we have some risers for five dollars and then I went over to the Goodwill and I found this for four dollars it's like a it's two pieces it says it's a cutting board but it's like wood and I figured this would be nice with some soaps on it um, so that was four dollars by the way Goodwill thrift stores are your best friend for like displays and things like that you can get pricey and then I ordered some things from Oriental Trading Company um, ordered some candy some uh, more decorations for the display they have a lot of bulk items so it's a lot cheaper for me to buy from them uh, for some things like candy and decorations so I got some stuff to kind of do all that but our soaps are not in yet we got some soaps coming in some bath and body stuff coming in which with the bath and body stuff it was $300 worth of stuff but I got it for $30 basically um, so I paid it was $330 total for all of the bath and body stuff but I had a $300 credit from fair um, for my referral when someone ended up joining and got a few sales so with fair if you are a buyer like if you have a storefront and if you have brands you want to invite to fair if they get accepted you get a hundred bucks and every sale that they get within 30 days you get a hundred bucks so this particular brand ended up getting three sales um, within their first two weeks so I got 300 bucks to spend on merchandise for the store which is amazing because that really helps so we are going to set up a whole bath and body section and we are going to be making these big lollipop displays so I saw a tutorial on how to do this and so we're going to see how it goes but I brought all the materials to make like these big lollipops so trying to make this place really fun on a budget but anyways that's kind of what we got going on today a lot of stuff so let's see how it goes so before we move on with the rest of the video i wanted to talk about today's sponsor elevate.store so if you are looking to start an online store but you don't know how you should check out elevate.store elevate.store is a platform dedicated to providing business owners discounts on tools that are key to starting and growing an online store they offer guided packs that are super convenient and have curated tools for the setup launch and growth stages of your business so here we are at the elevate.store site and i wanted to show you the different packs so the setup pack is really great if you are just starting a business so of course we all want that branded email ID when you first start out it just looks really professional to have that so you can save 10% there and Canva is another great tool to have for graphics and you know when you're posting on your socials um, you have the Canva tr free trial there and then Taylor brand save 20% if you're looking to create create a brand identity we have that here and some other amazing tools that can help you really get started and you save two hundred dollars with this pack now if you're just wanting to launch and maybe you've kind of already started your business and you're ready to like launch your site we have QuickBooks which we all know we need to keep track of finances Vistaprint I've used before and it is really nice for business cards any other marketing materials you may need so you can save money there and some other great tools like Wix and MailChimp is really valuable too. So saving 30%, that's a good one. Um, so you save over $150 with this one. And then the growth pack is if you're already a, an established business, but you're looking to kind of keep growing and really getting into, um, you know, increasing your revenue streams. These are great tools to have. So we all know uh, ha looking at your analytics is one thing that you need to do to grow your business. And we have a referral candy there. Um, Fiverr is great to outsource so if you're just so busy uh, and you need someone to help you do like things like 
you know marketing and other little tasks that you want to get off of your plate Fiverr is a great thing to have there um, Hotjar is also great to see how people are interacting on your website so you can get a free trial and test that out and you save over $200 with this pack so elevate also has the pick and go option so if you wanted to pick your own tools and, and to create your own pack that's definitely a option for you so you can kind of select which tools you would like to add to your pack there and you can also use their guided packs so uh, whether you want to create your own pack or just go with one of their pre-made packs there is a lot of options for you on elevate so you can keep paying full price for all of the tools that you're gonna use anyway for your business or save over $1,500 on tools that are essential for your store. The choice is yours, but I would recommend www.elevate.store. Thanks again, and let's get back to the video. Hello, so it is currently 4.15. Honestly, today I haven't done much. We've had a few customers come in today. Um, what have I done? <laughs> I'm making um, some of the wholesale orders that I'm sending out tomorrow. I have some boba candles to make and just a couple other uh, candles I need to make for another wholesale order. I think I've got three lined up that I need to send out. 
but I have been thinking of designing my Christmas stuff because um, fair is becoming one of our bigger bigger fair is becoming um, a pretty good revenue stream for us and I know it uh, is the holidays right around the corner and retailers typically want to get that holiday stuff ordered like right now so what I'm doing is designing some Christmas things so let me show you my gingerbread candle so I'm gonna put a picture here I feel like this candle has gotten some different looks over the years it is probably one of my more popular candles for the holidays um, so I have redesigned it because I'm always innovating and trying new things and trying to set myself apart um, and just you know thinking of new fun things but anyways let me show you all right, so first off, here is the label that I designed here. Very cute, so it says gingerbread house. We have our cute little house, gingerbread train. I didn't do the illustrations. I just like put them all together to design the label. We have snowflakes and the illustrations are commercial use. So I do have permission to use these illustrations on my products. And then I have the um, little information here the weight of the candle handcrafted candle so that is how the label looks and at first when I made these candles I um, made the wax a little bit darker and then I realized that you couldn't really see the beautiful design so I decided I thought I heard someone coming in I decided to lighten it up and then here is the um, one finished Christmas candle the gingerbread candle and it's not really too different from last year's design other than the label, but I am a big believer that artwork can just like change a product drastically. So I decided to, it's pretty much the same candle <laughs> as last year, but just with the different artwork. And for in my store, I am gonna be using the, these bubble lids. So I had to buy it in this set and then buy my silver lids separately. So to use the lids up, for in store, I am gonna be using these bubble lids and then online, I'm still gonna just use the silver lids so that we're using both of the lids. So this is the finished look. So this is how it's gonna look in store. And then online, you can just imagine me using the um, silver lids for these that I typically use. So I'm really happy with the design. So I am gonna create a few more in this kind of same style. Anyways, I'm really happy with the design and I'm going to be getting these up on the wholesale website so that retailers can start to order the candles. So, there you go. These are for Halloween. So we've got these neon pixie stick kind of things. And then I always like to get an activity. So the this is... I forgot oh bookmarks I think bookmarks um, and this is for trick-or-treat bags and also I'm doing an event on October 26 where kids from the local school like elementary kids are gonna come and make sand candles so I figured um, that I would make them little treat bags too so it's kind of a combination of both I've got these little gummy worms um, oh make your own um what are these i don't know what these are more gummy candies i think we've got an assortment of candy and then our treat bag so this is what i'm going to package everything oh my gosh i did not know they had googly eyes that's cool so i'm going to package the candy in these or the treat bags and then we also i like to get practical things because i know like Halloween sometimes the toys can be very junky and they just go in the trash so this these are pens that they can use um, and then also gummies more gummies and then this one I got because usually we have a Halloween thing at my house with my son and my nieces so I figured this would be a fun game to add to our collect Halloween game collection so we got the Halloween skeleton puzzle so what you do is you hide these pieces and then they have to create the puzzle so it's like two different teams working against each other so that's really fun and then more treat bags 
it looks like everything's here but again i'm gonna check and then we've got this big thing of sour punch candy i'm gonna be eating that and then another craft which is bracelet making <laughs> gross grotesque on Mondays but what I'm doing now is getting the space ready I started renting out my space on Monday to a um, Mary Kay group so what they do is they just come in when I'm closed I come and open the door for them and then they um, just do their Mary Kay party so it's a way for me to still make money while the store is closed I get to enjoy my Monday do whatever make money from this little event so they rent it out every week and just for a few hours. Also, in the previous clip, I showed you um, some candy. So <laughs> this is a very controversial topic. I've actually had made a video about this on TikTok and it went viral with over 2 million uh, views because it's very controversial. Uh, for Halloween, I write off my candy as a marketing expense. And how I do that is the treat bags are really marketing. So even though it's just Halloween candy, um, I put these little stickers on here. Winding with Candles, Happy Halloween, treat bags brought to you by Winding with Candles with the address of our storefront. So even though, yeah, this is a Halloween treat bag, it's a marketing expense for the business. So the candy, the treat bags and everything is a write-off because I'm using it for marketing. So uh, we're going to be handing some of these treat bags out to the kids that are coming on Wednesday. So I figured we're going to do sand candles. So like I mentioned, there's going to be like 20 kids coming from the local school district, um, elementary kids, and they're going to make sand candles. So I'm going to give them a treat bag and I'm going to make a pamphlet with like the history of candle making or something like that to give them. So that's going to be fun. And yeah, so I figured it would be really fun just to connect with the local kids, do something fun. And also their parents are going to be bringing them. So that introduces them to Winding with Candles. And hopefully they have a really fun experience. And they love their treat bags. So in the treat bags we have, um, I think Grace used everything. But let me open one for you. I had Grace do treat bags yesterday. Because I was doing work around my house. So she did these. Um, so in every treat bag there is a Halloween pen. I'm just like really close to the camera. Let me like move it back. In every treat bag, there's a Halloween pin, um, an activity. So this activity is uh, a necklace they can make or they can make a bookmark in the other one. And then candy. So very simple. And yeah. But any anyways, I have a busy day. Uh, today's my husband's birthday. So um, he doesn't like cake. So my son and I, while he's at work, we're going to make him a homemade cherry pie, homemade crust and everything. Because um, he mentioned cherry pie like... Oh my god, that scared me. The wind blew the door open. Oh my gosh. So, um, we're going to be making him a homemade cherry pie. I have to open the store up for the Mary Kay ladies, send off this wholesale order, which it's almost done, um, and finish up this vlog. <laughs> so, I have a lot to do today, but that's pretty much it for the vlog, you guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Hopefully, you learned some new marketing stuff. And again, if you want to check out um, the Dot Store sponsor, Okay. And again, if you want to check out Dot Store, make sure to check out my description, see all of the bundles that you can get. Okay. And also thank you again to Dot to Elevate. And thank you again to Elevate for sponsoring this video. If you all are looking to start a website and you kind of don't know where to start, make sure you check out my description to see what kind of bundles they offer and discounts because we love a good discount. But anyways, thank you so much for tuning into today's vlog. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye. Hey, you guys. So I'm actually refilming this outro because my iPhone was just acting up. But thank you so much for tuning in. I'm actually wearing my Harry Potter um, 
outfit, <laughs> my school outfit for the kids that are coming today. So that's today. Um, so I'm just finishing up this video before I have to run out to the office. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thanks again, Elevate, for sponsoring today's video. If you all are interested in starting an online website and you're looking for an easy, simple way to do that, check out the link in my description um, if you want to check out Elevate. But anyways, thank you again for tuning in and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!